From fake news to conspiracy theories, misinformation is everywhere. But did you know it can change your brain in powerful ways? We're breaking down the psychological impact of misinformation, why it's so appealing, and how therapy can help reverse its effects. Let's find out why, how, and everything possible about the ways misinformation can affect you. But before we dive into today's video, take a moment to click that like button and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on our upcoming videos. How misinformation affects the brain. Misinformation can have a profound impact on our brains, leading to harmful thinking and behaviors. But how exactly does it work? The amygdala, a small, almond-shaped structure in the brain responsible for emotions like fear and sadness, becomes overactive with misinformation. This can make us anxious, irrational, and even paranoid. Exaggerated claims or fear-inducing stories activate the amygdala, triggering a fight-or-flight response, reinforcing emotional reactions over logical thinking. Meanwhile, the hippocampus, which plays a crucial role in regulating emotions and memory, also gets affected. False narratives and conspiracy theories can distort memories, convincing people to believe events that never happened or to see connections where none exist. This distorts the way we perceive reality and solidifies misleading beliefs. Another key player in this misinformation drama is the medial prefrontal cortex, MPFC, the part of the brain that handles high-level thinking and problem-solving. Exposure to misinformation impairs our ability to think critically and makes us more likely to fall into cognitive biases. We start to see the world in black and white terms, oversimplifying complex issues and reinforcing harmful stereotypes. Thus, these brain regions are crucial for emotional regulation and rational decision-making. But misinformation can hijack them, making it difficult to separate fact from fiction. The psychological appeal of misinformation. So why do we fall for misinformation? Here's what makes it so appealing. Humans are naturally drawn to information that aligns with their existing beliefs, a phenomenon known as confirmation bias. When we come across misinformation that confirms what we already think, we're more likely to accept it without questioning its validity. This tendency leads us to ignore contradictory facts and reinforces our biases. Emotional resonance is another crucial factor. Content that evokes strong emotions, particularly fear or anger, leaves a lasting impression on our minds. Sensational headlines, shocking conspiracy theories, and fear-inducing stories activate our amygdala, making us feel compelled to act share, and believe, even if logic tells us otherwise. This emotional content sticks with us and makes misinformation more memorable and believable. Furthermore, we all have an innate need for community and belonging. People seek validation and camaraderie among like-minded groups, often finding solace in online echo chambers where their beliefs are amplified and reinforced. This groupthink makes it difficult to break free from misinformation. As individuals fear losing their sense of identity and belonging, if they challenge the narrative. These narratives provide simple answers for complex problems, often giving people a sense of control and clarity in an uncertain world. Believers often feel like they possess exclusive, hidden knowledge that others don't, which boosts their self-esteem and gives them a sense of purpose. The role of therapy in combating misinformation. Psychotherapy, also known as talk therapy, can help identify and change harmful thinking patterns caused by misinformation. But did you know therapy can actually change your brain? Therapy works by reducing activity in the fear centers of the brain, like the amygdala, which is responsible for emotions such as fear and sadness. Studies have shown that psychotherapy can help regulate emotional responses, decreasing overactivity in the amygdala, and allowing individuals to approach their beliefs with a calmer, more rational mindset. Simultaneously, Therapy strengthens the problem-solving regions of the brain, like the MPFC, which is crucial for critical thinking and decision-making. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT, in particular, is effective at helping people identify and reframe irrational beliefs, replacing them with healthier, evidence-based thinking patterns. Interestingly, therapy can also change the actual structure of the brain. In one study, Individuals with social anxiety who took an online psychotherapy course showed a reduction in the size of their amygdala, leading to fewer symptoms and less anxiety. This change demonstrates that the brain is far more flexible and adaptable than we once thought. Think of psychotherapy like strength training for your brain. The more you do it, the tougher and more resilient your brain becomes, helping you work through problems with clarity. 
Practical tips to protect your brain. How can we protect our brains from misinformation and foster healthier thinking? Talking to a therapist is a powerful way to identify harmful thinking patterns and challenge irrational beliefs. Therapies like CBT can help you understand why you believe what you do and offer practical strategies for developing a healthier mindset. Diversifying your information sources is equally important. Following multiple reputable news outlets and fact-checking before sharing information online can help you avoid falling into echo chambers and reduce your exposure to misinformation. Practicing mindfulness and critical thinking is another key strategy. Being aware of emotional triggers and taking a step back before reacting allows you to analyze information more rationally. Ask yourself who's sharing this information and why to critically evaluate the content you consume. Finally, build a support network of people who challenge your thinking and encourage open discussions. Engaging with diverse perspectives can help you break free from the echo chamber effect and promote more thoughtful conversations. In the age of social media, misinformation can impact our brains in subtle yet powerful ways. But with the right strategies, we can protect ourselves and our communities. Let us know in the comments how you stay informed and avoid misinformation. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get insights on issues that matter.